All right, go ahead and start washing this, Christine. Part of what we're up against with these two is trying to help them break a habit. And habits are very hard to break. All right, guys, today we've got a job for somebody else because it's also important for us to give back to the community. I'm going to grade you guys when we get back. <laughs> I'm going to grade you on your attitude because that's the biggest thing you're having to change, all right? OK. Good? Yeah. See? Well, you got a C right there for that response. <laughs> I'll try again? Yes, sir. Awesome. Love it. All right, guys, let's get ready to roll. We were headed to uh, one of my best friend's homes to bring him some firewood. He and his wife uh, have a young son who has a lot of medical problems right now, so they're struggling, and their, uh, their time is very tight. This is Jimmy Sanders. This is Jesse. Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Jesse. I'm Jimmy. It's good to see you. This Hi. is Christine. Hey, Christine. I'm Jimmy. It's good to see you. Me too. All right. Before Christine and Jesse learned Jimmy's story, I wanted to find out their true color serving others. We got you some firewood, and um, we're going to build you a little shelter place back there to keep it and put it out there for you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. All right. We're going to get right. busy. Ah. I was confused. Why are we doing this for someone? This is awful. Suck. <laughs> All right, let's watch the attitude. Why can't he have someone do it for him? Like, why does it have to be us? It's like a marsh. Walking in a swamp. Uh, he doesn't really have a place to stack the wood, so we're going to build that right here. we got to drive a nail into the ends of these boards. <laughs> oh. Good. All right. Holy <laughs> crap. Yes. Nail that in place to make sure it's even, right? Y'all got to work together on that and use those same nails that are in that box. All right. I don't want to come on here and build firewood holders in the rain. That wasn't, it's not even. I know what I'm doing, don't worry. It's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it as any flirting with Christine. I was just being friendly, like, I don't know, some horseplay, messing around. This one. I kind of peeked around the corner to see how Jesse and Christine were doing. And um, I wasn't very happy with what I saw. Still working on that? The other side's not touching. Rather than get serious, what I saw was two kids playing in the rain. All right, well, let's chop. We got to hurry. Who drove this it's nail right here split. all the way out through the top? Me. <laughs> Conditions are getting worse. It's raining a little bit harder. Time started running out fast, and we had to get the firewood loaded into the shed. Come help me with these, this wood. Hand them to me quick. I, just I felt like when I asked you to pick up the pace, I didn't feel like you picked up the pace. It became kind of jokey, laughy, kind of goofing off, and you know we're in a time crunch, so I needed you guys to step up, and that's part of that maturing process. Christine, I'd put you at a C plus. Yes. That sucks. I knew I wasn't going to get a good grade on attitude because I usually don't have a great attitude when I have to do things that I don't want to do. When the heat got turned up, I didn't see you step up. Yeah. I kept stabbing myself because my nails. Well, I wasn't trying to laugh. The attitude I'm looking for is, hey, let's get on this and let this, let's get this thing done. Jess, I'd put you at a B minus. That knowing it all attitude, that same attitude um, also transfers into I don't have to take responsibility. At that point, I really wanted to just like smack him. If I build it and I like it, that's good enough for me. And I'm really trying to push you because I see what you can do. I know what you can do. Okay, and I've seen pieces of it. And so I'm gonna do my best to pull that out of you. I don't I don't think at all I'm asking either one of you to do something that you can't do. I know that you both can.